okay. So, what I have done over here is the data that uh, we had previously. Uh, so, this particular data I have just taken that in Microsoft Excel. So, this is our x, this data is our y, okay. And on, on the board we had derived the value of uh, a 1 and the value of a 1 that we have we had derived was basically uh, summation x summation y minus n times summation x y divided by summation x squared minus n times summation summation x the whole squared minus n times summation x squared. Okay. And likewise we had derived basically uh, the equation for a 0 as well a 0 was y average minus a 1 times x average. Okay. So, this is the data that is given. So, what what I will do is I will just get the summation of that data. So, I will write that equal to sum and so what I have done is I have used the cursor keys to take the, uh, the blinking rectangle over here and now I press the shift key and use the cursor key to take the rectangle upwards and then complete uh, basic complete the uh, 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 brackets. Okay. So, closing the brackets we will get the summation uh, that, that we see over here. Okay. Okay. I have just moved the a 0 uh, down so that we get more space for doing our stuff. Uh, now, in order to get summation of y i we will just drag this particular cell over here and if we press F 2 key we will be able to see that uh, this particular guy is nothing but summation of y i. Okay. What else do we need? We need uh, we need summation of x, summation of y that we that we have already obtained we need summation of x y and summation of x squared. So, what we will write over here is uh, x y and we will just increase the font, change the font to times new roman okay, and this becomes our x y and likewise we need x squared. and we will just use a superscript, so that it just looks good. Okay. So, what we have over here is okay. So, we will calculate x y which is nothing but the product okay, I will increase the font size, so that it is visible for all of us. Okay. So, x y is nothing but equal to x star y that is going to be our x y and we will just drag and uh, move and drag this uh, for uh, the entire column and our x squared is going to be equal to x caret 2, x is, is this particular cell, the caret sign is the power sign and 2 that is going to be our x square and then we can drag and uh, drag this for the entire column or we can just double click it and it will get get dragged itself okay and then we go on to find of summation of xy and summation of x squared and for that we'll just copy this and then con control c and control v over here and we can just press f2 to verify what that is that is nothing but summation of this particular column which is summation of xy and this is nothing but summation of x square so, our value of a 1 is going to be equal to summation of x multiplied by summation of y that is going to be equal to we will start the brackets for the numerator summation of x multiplied by summation of y okay. minus n. Now, n value is 6 minus 6 multiplied by summation of x y which is this value over here and I click over here and this is our numerator slash to represent division 
and our denominator is summation of x squared summation of uh, sorry summation of x the whole squared summation of x is nothing but this guy this guy whole squared minus n times which is 6 times summation of x squared okay and summation of x squared is this and we close the bracket and that becomes our denominator and this is nothing but our a1 a0 is going to be y average minus a1 times x average or this can also be written as summation of y minus a1 times summation of x whole divided by n okay so y average is nothing but y summation of y divided by 6 minus a1 which is this value multiplied by summation of x divided by 6 okay and that's going to be our a0 okay so what we did just to recap what we did is we were given the data x y that is over here what uh, what we did in, in this particular case is found out the summation of x found summation of y then computed x multiplied by y over here for each of these cases. So, if we just take any cell and press F2 we will be able to see the formula for that cell formula for the cell is the, the blue colored cell multiplied by the green colored cell which is nothing but x i multiplied by y i or x 4 multiplied by y 4 in this particular case. This is nothing but x 4 squared we can see that when we press uh, uh, f 2 key this is f 4 squared okay. and finally after calculating x y for all of the 6 data points and x squared for all of the 6 data points we get summation of x y and summation of x squared we press F2 we will see that is what uh, we get over here and likewise this is summation of x squared is what we get over here and then we can substitute this. So, what I am highlighting going to highlight over here is our numerator our numerator is summation of x which is this guy multiplied by summation of y which is this guy minus 6 times summation of x y minus 6 times summation of x y which is this guy okay and if you look at the cell number it is d 10 that is our summation of x y okay that is our numerator divided by the denominator okay and that is how we get our a 1 and likewise we can we can just easily get our a 2 as well okay. If we go back to our regression that uh, that we obtained uh, earlier we had said y equal to 0 0.45 plus 0 0.47 x. Uh, essentially if we are going to truncate uh, this these particular values only to 2 decimal points that is wh what we approximate uh, approximate value of uh, uh, our straight line uh, we get as okay. Uh, so, what we will do is we will just plot this data x versus y. So, we will highlight all the data click on insert tab on scatter and then we will plot using the scatter function and this is going to be our original data. Okay. This is our x versus y data and then we will get y hat okay y hat we said was nothing but a0 plus a1x so we'll again go to full screen okay y hat was equal to a0 plus a1 multiplied by x okay and this is the the first y hat y hat that we get uh, what what we actually need to do in order to dra drag and drop is just we don't need a y hat at each and every point but uh, what i will do over here is in any way just get this y hat at each point so, I will give this delta what delta does in excel what this delta does in excel 
is when I drag and drag this particular column downwards, okay, this, per, this particular E and 14 will not change. So, I will just demonstrate that to you. Okay. So, uh, let us say when, when I just drag this down and do F 2 instead of E uh, 16 and E 14, it has changed to E 17 and E 15 because of which we get the value as 0, because E 16, uh, E 15 has nothing and E 17 has no value over there. Okay. But now, instead when I add, when I include this dollar signs in Excel okay, and then I drag this, just see what happens. If I do F 2 over here, the, the value under the, within the dollar sign has not changed, only the cell values over here have changed. Okay. That is what has happened. If you look at this particular expression, it is dollar E dollar 16 plus dollar E dollar 14 multiplied by A 3 and the next expression is dollar E dollar 16. See this particular value has not changed. This particular cell value also has not changed. Only thing that has changed is from A 3 we have gone to A 4. Okay. So, that is what we will consistently uh, be able to do for the entire cell and now what we need to do is we need to plot uh, essentially we need to plot our uh, no, I will change this font size also to 16, so that it is more visible. Okay. Yeah. And now, I will plot this x, uh, x versus y hat also in, in that data. We can do that by select data, click on add. Okay the series name is going to be y hat okay series x values are going to be these values and series y values are going to be our y hat values okay and that's going to give us this red data and we will uh, basically do format data series and add a line over here solid line with red color. Okay. So, this particular line represents our y hat, the blue data points over here represent our y and the red data points over here represent our y hat. So, the red data points are y hat, the line is y equal to a 0 plus a 1 x and this distance is our E 3, this distance is E 2, E 1, E 4, E 5 and E 6. Okay. So, this is the best fit line, best fit straight line we get which passes through this 6, uh, sorry the best, the straight line that best fits the 6 data points that we had over here. Okay. And uh, I had already done that before and this was the best fit the line that I had, uh, I had obtained. Okay. So, this is how you are going to do uh, your uh, linear regression in a single variable.